I think one thing that I really love about Moritz Bauer's commitment to the job here is that it's, it's how close he gets to his employees, you know? Even even if they're contractors, you know, they're not full-time employees of the of the airport, Moritz likes to get up close and personal here and, and get to know them. He's doing a wonderful, wonderful job of getting to know all the contractors who work for him. Oh, not anymore. Don't know what... The one interesting thing about this staff room... What? Wait a minute. Moritz is tired. Oh, no. But one interesting thing about this staff room is that no one seems to sit down. <laughs> I've provided them with all these chairs, and no one wants to sit down. Anyway, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Airport CEO, episode number three. And um, in the last episode, we... I'll zoom back out a little bit. We made this terminal building, and it is quite big although i imagine we will run out of space quickly um we made this terminal building and we made this uh, lovely staff room down here with administrative building uh, admin oh sorry administrative office as well um in the off play time off camera i've actually done a little bit of tweaking um you'll remember if you watched the last episode i was complaining that the the, the staff room area and the office space where people were working was one in the same and and then it was very annoying that the contractors were going in here and disturbing my admin workers well turns out turns out you can actually define the staff rooms as separate things so what i've done is i've turned down some walls i've put some more doors in and and i've made these two separate rooms i've also then gone into here named it the airport administration room and i've set it da 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 so that only these members of the administrative department can go in there. Um, <laughs> there is no gameplay value to that whatsoever. It is simply for me to roleplay this goodness graciously great airport. Um, I also found as well, this is awesome, that we can paint objects like vending machines. Which, oh man, that is going to be fun. I don't know how you, like, is there a way you can, like, pick up colours from your general surroundings? No. Let's, i tell you what, let's, let's find the, what's the logo? Dark blues. We'll go for a dark blue. A lovely, dark-ish looking blue. That'll do. No, that didn't work. You are a fool, Chris. There we go. <laughs> that clashes with that carpet badly, but it's great. I can actually paint the chairs. Oh my gosh, hang on. Yeah, yes, yes. Welcome to the blue room. <laughs> they say that blue is a lovely calming colour. I don't think they meant this blue. That is, that is awful looking. Maybe we'll go lighter. Yeah, that's less garish on the eyes, isn't it? <laughs> with vending machines to match. Maybe the carpet as well. I know we went for this red to try and make people happy, but... Uh, oh, no. What goes well with... Um, I, pff, it'll do. It'll do for what I want right now, which is... Um, better than nothing. Why would you... Oh, come on. I want you to paint that chair. There we go. And then, should we... Uh, I'm, I'm going to... I will change the the admin suite as well. Just because I don't want them to... Uh, it, red is just a very garish colour, isn't it? There we go. Look at that. That is beautiful. Looking great. So, what do we have to do today? We still have our small stand here. We... Um, we're looking to build this airport up to take on our first commercial flights. There's a lot to do before we get to there. So let's check the tutorial and what it wants us to do. It says, uh, important, we need to now place two check -in, small check-in desks. Now, we can do that. I'd like some music, you know, to be playing, but all right, that's fine. Where do you get check-in stuff? Where would where would I get that? Oh, there's the music. Look, seating, staff rooms, desks, information desks, 
check-in desks and boarding desks. Okay, okay. So, we only have the small check-in desks to start with. Okay, that's cool. I think we need to start thinking about how this is going to look, this airport. What's it going to... What, what's the what's the journey? The journey of you, the passenger, as you come into this airport. What's it going to be? Important, it says here. A secure area must have a security checkpoint and a security exit. It must also be seamlessly connected, which includes any doors and pathways. Press Z to toggle zones. I'll press it. Okay, yeah, 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 I can see. Make sure that aircraft stands meant for commercial flights are placed adjacent to the terminal. Okay. Well, I tell you what I wanted. I in in my head, as with real airports, arrivals and departures do not tend to ma mix too much. So what I had wanted to do is this corridor up here. I had wanted to make a like a right arrivals part, if you get me, so that they uh, people will go out this one door, and the rest of it can be. An entrance. That's what I wanted to do. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend some money to, to to do that before we even think about putting these. Before we even think about putting these terminal uh, check-ins in here. So, what can we do? If I build a wall along, right? Let's work. Let's work this out. So, a wall going to there would be great let's think let me think so you come in here we need the check-in hall here we need to also make room so that eventually we have baggage that gets taken here so we check in check in here you go through security and into here which is this end i'm imagining as a departure lounge okay 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 so we where's where's the halfway point here how big are you 280 so 140 yeah okay so so if we built like a wall there as well that splits this in two no 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 sorry 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 he says i don't i don't actually want that at all because we want to leave a gap uh, thinking ahead to to baggage stuff, we want to have a gap in the back so that our conveyor belts can kind of run. I know you can go on multiple floors, which is awesome. So here we've got we can look, we can create an upstairs, which we can consider one time day, and we can also do below ground. But I do want to keep everything on one floor for the time being. We can move it around later, right? That's me rambling. Let's let's actually do something. Um, okay, so 140 is there. So half of that is 70, I guess. So if we went from here and up. I'm gonna build a wall here. And we'll have the entrance the entrance way here. We will have check in stuff down this end we will leave room up here to potentially expand this and create some shops maybe in the future and we want some shops on the other side as well right let's create the journey create the journey you know so they come through here we then get them through to here and then we have security here and then after security maybe we could section some of this off to make shops eventually maybe I don't know <laughs> I like shops although no 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 because I'm in an idiot aren't I I need to I wanted to create like a, a small section hang on hang on hang on let me think it through we'll board it up to there they can go through security and come out down this end this in this middle can be like a what's the word this is this will be like ad not admin um where the where the conveyor belts and stuff can potentially go eventually um come through there i think i know what i'm doing he says 
So, let me... How big a doors can you have? You're not a big door. Big door. So, are you the size of a... Just keep the one up there, maybe? Where's the security stuff? Like, I know it's mentioned it, but like, where is it? Security, okay. So you create security zones, security checkpoints. Small security exits. So a way for people to exit via secure area, these one-way doors. Okay, so that would be make sense. If, if, if they arrive, I don't know how to keep them so they're separate, so that the arrivals and departures are, are separate, like a real, like a real airport is. Um, let's put these desks in. Come on. Let's give them... Oh, ooh, flight information. That's pretty cool. Okay, checking desks, boarding desks. So a checking desk. Um, how many of you do we want? So let's give it... I, I mean, I like this. I like how they've got it here in the display. Let's... Uh, Let's do that. So we have... We have some space behind. We'll go one like that. And then... How many checking desks does it want? It wants at least two. I'm going bigger. Are we going more than two? Come on. You'd, we need more than two. We, we've Moritz Power has ambition. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there, one there, and one there. We will then <laughs> copy what this thing has done and get some potted plants. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, we'll copy. We're just going to copy it. Like so. We will get a bigger potted plant, maybe. And put it there. Like so. This is looking great. I love this. Ah, oh, guys, this is wonderful. You're going to have such a nice airport when you're done, people. Uh, let's. I like what they've got here with this like little carpet underneath. And we're going to keep it in the Moritz Bauer blue. The fancy mat of Moritz Bauer. Let's do it. Let's keep some blue under there. I also like the wood that they've got. The little fancy wood effect. So, yeah, we'll have that going there. There as well. Um, how does these how do these queues work then? How does that work? So they come in here. What do you? How do you? Can you can you not do that until they're built? Maybe I guess maybe that would make sense. Let's put up some flight screens. Oh, you need a lot of space for that. Okay. Well, how about we put some some up there for people to look at and we'll put some maybe we'll put another little wall there yeah we'll build another wall just along here so that these are it out like that cool this can be something else as well I'm sure flight information can go oh gosh Okay, but it's going to bug me that that's not symmetrical, so we're going to get rid of it. And we'll put another one there, like so. Spend all the money you want, Chris. Moritz. So we'll put another one there, so flight information is all around. Oh, what could this area be in here? Who knows? We also need... Oh my gosh, we need toilets. We need toilets for people, don't we? Oh, that's the... That is... I'm just trying to think... Before we make this a proper proper place, we, we really do need... Right. Let's... It annoys me that you have to do it this way in order to delete stuff. And I'm sure you can probably do it a different way, but I've yet to work it out. So, should we put... We'll, we'll build it out to... No. Come on. Two by four... Like that, and we will create a little toilet block there. It can't. No, no. 
I don't want it there. I think that's too close to to the the, the procedure of checking people in. Um, we will create one. Up here, we could do it up. If I move that door, no, because security they come down and queue that way. No, okay. We could. No, actually, tell a lie. We could do it like that. We could go out by that. Down by that to there. That could create a little toilet block. And then we could also, we could build shops along here as well, if needs be. I like it. Okay, okay. We're getting a lot of stuff in here. I'm thinking way ahead of what we need to do. Um, where can this little door go? Maybe this is too big for a toilet. <laughs> it's probably too big for a toilet, isn't it? Uh, let's go medium door then. Medium door. Uh, bathrooms. Yes, this is a bathroom. And I'd like toilets, sinks, hand dryers. You, I, right, I know you can make the toilets like... Um, Like you, they don't have to be a, like of a specific gender, which is pretty cool. Do I? When you place a toilet down, do they have the stalls around them? Oh yeah, they do. Okay, that's cool. So, well, well let's do it this way. We will give you thousands of toilets. <laughs> you have never seen so many toilets. Oh, this is awesome. Let's let's press play, um, and then what I'm gonna do is is that the middle? How big are you? You're not gonna tell me, are you? Sixty. Bomb. By uh, I think is that the middle? How big is that? <laughs> One hundred twenty. Yeah, so sixty would be the middle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's put a little wall just down here like you do sometimes see these little walls in in toilets don't you it make it will make it will make so much sense in a second i promise and then we do some more toilets here so many toilets like no one is going to go without in this place where the sinks can go like so i am oh god I'm just seeing how much bathrooms cost. This is a luxury bathroom, though. That's the thing. Sparing no expense at Moritz Bauer International. And then hand dryers. Where do you fit? How do you how do you fit? Okay, it's like that. So we can then put you one, two, three, four, five, six along like that. And then one, two, three, four. Like like that? Yeah? Oh, that's horrible. We'll get rid of some. Yeah, the, the, the hand dryer to sink ratio is nonsense. But it's going to be cool. Okay, so we... Oh, this is moving on very quickly. Zones are suitable... Part, zone a suitable part of the terminal as secure. Make sure the check-in desks are not inside the secure. Right, right. Let's Let's just... Let's do it then. Let's get on with making secure stuff. So, <clears throat> this area in here is secure zone. And let's go here as well. Secure zone. Secure zone. Secure zone. Secure zone. Awesome. And then we need, uh, i tell you what I need. I need a door, another doorway, large, I wonder if that will make these two secure zones become one. Maybe not. How do I, could I do that? I'd like to do that. If I delete you and then just add you from there. Oh, no. Okay. Right. I guess it's the walls. I don't know. But this is okay. We uh, Then, what way do they go in that way? So, we can place... Must be connected to an open zone. It is connected to an open zone, is it not? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, does... Oh, 
I don't understand. Does half of you have to be secure and half of you not? Is that... Placed inside a secure zone must be connected to his open zone. Do we just build the... Should we build the buildings first? Let's do that. Let's get all the, the guys on the job. How many contractors do we have? Should we see if we can get more? Contractors. We have the max amount already. It'll, it's fine. It won't take us long. Look at them. Oh, they're doing a good job. Oh, this is looking good. So, here... Build a queue. Oh. Oh. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Let's... Okay, so... How far back should a queue go? To there, maybe? I could make them whirly girly. What are you? I don't know what you are. Oh, relocate. Oh, okay. That's a cool tool I didn't know I even had. It's a shame we can't amalgamate all the queues. You know, like proper airports. Where um, all the queues go on forever. Okay, how do I how do I stop? Oh my god, this is insane. Okay, I just want you all to be the same same size. This is a shame. Yeah, we it would have been good to make them all like one big queue, and then it's like cashier number three, please. But mm, uh, that's fine. This looks good to me. So <laughs> we we're building. Oh, we need to put a proper proper floor down in the toilet. Um, what's a good these look nice. We'll go with you. Are you nice? You look a little bit jail like a jail. Perhaps that is not what I wanted. Marble. Clinker, standard grey terminals. Oh, it should have been marble. Ah, it's fine, it's fine. Moritz doesn't care. Okay, where are you guys? Where have you all gone? What? What? Oh, have we built everything? Oh, cool. All right. Fair enough. I didn't realise you were you were such productive workers. Sorry. Okay. I don't understand. It must be connected to an open zone. This is an open zone. Is this not an open zone? Secure. Oh, I don't get it. This is open. Is it not? Do I need to tear down this wall? Mr. Gorbachev? Let's, let's, well, let's do it. Let's see what happens. We tear down this wall. Oh, actually, oh. What the flip? Go. Right, let's see if that makes a difference. Okay, we've got some workers coming out to take everything down. Does this does this make a difference? No. Okay, I don't get it. Um, it must be connected to an open zone. What am I? Have I been thick? This isn't. Is it? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, right. Okay. Idiot. Idiot Brammer. Right, okay. So, if we do that, that... Right. You flipping... What an absolute mug. What an absolute mug I am. <laughs> okay, okay. So, if we have it down to here, and then what I want... This is fine anyway. I want you there. Nice. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. And then, I don't, I, I, uh, 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 symmetry's gone, but we'll, we will put a wall in the middle of it there. Should the wall really go there? Yeah, wall can go there. And then, what can go 
How big do you have to be? Oh, you're too big. Okay. Okay, okay. That's fine. We can build these here. This security area. And then we need to think about benches. And... Right, let's build it. Let's build it. Come on, guys. Let's get this terminal up and running. This massive hulking terminal. Jesus. <laughs> it has a good bathroom, though. So that's all that matters. But there's plenty of room for more check-in desks or to split it up into shops, which I'd prefer to do. Uh, I know later on in the game you get automated things as well. Oh, we need to... Yeah, right, okay, Chris. Think this through. So... Okay, so... So is this going to be the same thing? Sorry, a secure area must have a security checkpoint and a security exit. Must be a seamless connection. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. Oh! If I'd have put one here, though, would... Right, if I make... if I Right, if I put one down here, though, as is my desire, to, like... Put them here. Come on. Yeah, my desire is to put them here. So that then people come out the airport and go down this way. That's what I wanted. I don't know if you like need passport control or anything. But this is kind of what I wanted down here. So then they leave the airport this way. Um, like arrivals, essentially. But if I put them here... Will staff be forced to go around? And if I put one in the middle here, will passengers come out and... Ah, you know what? We'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. They'll work it out. Terminal flow. Place a boarding desk near each stand. And wait for them to be built. So I need to I need to actually build more, more stands, don't I? I need to build a bigger taxiway down here. And I need to build some more stands. Oh, this is a big investment, isn't it, really? Uh, ooh, you are not operating. Oh, because you need staff. That's fine. I I, I knew that. Uh, how many we got? Let's, let's... Right. Can I... Oh, we ain't going to get it. So if I put you there. Okay, you, you, listen, honey. Like that. <laughs> Never even necessary, is it really? Um, where do you go? You need to go further. Come on. Get your head in the game, guys. The music's quite relaxing on this game, I've got to say. I know that you can... Go away. I didn't want to click you. I get... Oh my gosh, Moritz. Like that. <laughs> that looks so stupid. <laughs> why? Why would you do that? That looks daft. That looks so stupid. Can I get rid of my queue? Oh god, how do you even get rid of them? Is it like a... Oh god. Sorry. Oh my... No! Go away. Oh. I don't, I don't know if I care enough. I thought I'd... Do oh, you know what? Keep it. <laughs> Let's see how that works for them. They'll have a great time. It's like a little... Maze. It's not, but... Right, so, they approach here. They go through security. Of course, security needs a floor. What would you... How would you look in the floor? We wouldn't have carpet. We wouldn't have... Yeah, perhaps it'd be more this type of thing. In the security room. Like that. And then... There... I want more decoration. You know, I want seats. I want 
I want people to be to be happy here. So we definitely need seats and things. Right, let's let we con I'm concentrating on the wrong things there. This is looking good though. Okay. So we oh, terminals. Right, okay. Cool. Um let's Mr. Gorbachev, let's tear down this fence. We need to build taxiing. It's not a runway. It's not that. It's not a ramp. It's taxiing. Yes, thank you. We need it to go along here. To there, please. Yeah, I know. You, you're, not, you're not happy about that fence, are you? And that I can understand. But we've got to keep the cows out somehow. <laughs> the cows are a real pain and a constant pain in our in our necks. So if we bring it along here, oh my god, there's more cows! Oh, right, we need to fence that off. So we're gonna have to build a fence around the taxiway, I think, somehow. Oh god. Um. Right, what what, what um, what have we got? Taxi stands. Aircraft hangers, aircraft stands. What have I just built? What have I just built? No, go away. Aircraft stands. So you need to be... How do you want me to look? Okay. So we can build... Let's work this out properly, shall we? I think that... My dream of having people... Like, the departures and arrivals not mix is just uh, foolish. I think they're going to they're gonna meet. <laughs> Unless I filter them down a tunnel. But I can't, I don't think I can do that. Alright, should we just, I'll build one there. We'll have one there. We'll just... We'll build loads. Like so. How many flights can we really realistically have? Like really? Like, could we have more? Let's do that for now. Because we're going to need to put some service roads in here anyway. So if we... Oh, I mean... I don't know what I've done. I, I, uh, uh. Right, I'm gonna get rid of these two. We don't need them for now. We we could we can look to develop the the Air Moritz Power <laughs> International later along that route. But I'm quite happy. How many are you across? Five. Five. Good God. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Five. Just looks very big. Oh, that's because you're doing six, Chris. Oh, you are the dafty. Demolish that one. Thank you. Cool. So, planes there. We can build. Let's build some more. Let's get rid of some fences again. Um, in fact, we need to get rid of this just this entire fence. There. Not long after we built it. What an idiot I am. Uh, we will build another fence along here. For now. To keep the cows out. Should we put it all the way? Let's put it. Oh no. We can't put it all the way to the perimeter. Oh no you can. I'm just stupid again. We'll build it. We'll, we'll, we are going to spend a lot of money. We are. But I hope you agree. That it is worth it. To keep out the cow infestation. Yeah. And then what? We build it up along here as well? I guess so. I guess we build it like that. Jesus, this is going to cost us a little bit of money. But that's fine because it's worth it to keep the cows out. So we've got um, our builders are working, working hard and tirelessly. 
And then we need to build these connection gates, don't we? So, uh, check in boarding desks. Yeah, please. Um, what have I done? Sweet Jesus, what have I done? Um, is it to do with that secure zone? Have I have I messed around too too much? I don't want to. I don't want that. Thank you. Yeah, let's just clear you for now. Okay, how do I like go go away? If I don't want them to be a security zone, how do I stop them from being a security zone? Oh, they're a staff zone. Don't tell me you can't. There isn't an exit. What's this? Talking absolute nonsense. Oh, we need... Right. Sorry. You, you can't operate because we haven't got security officers. You're right. You're totally right. Um... Oh <laughs> my, my bad. But I should be able to do this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need a door. The door would have to, right. Let's put the doors in. Let, oh, going about this the complete hodgepodge way. We haven't even got windows for the poor people. Actually, let's just let this get built. Just get built, please. While we're here. Let's do some job interviews. Staff. Filter. Uh, I'd like to see some... Who'd like to be a security guard? Who we got? Ooh! I mean, Boris Slavibramovich. Great name. You are hired. Uh, Mauro Muller. Welcome to the squad. Uh, who else we got? Who else we got here? Uh, Natalie Kowalski. You're great. And you know what? We'll have Jevin... Oh, gosh, sorry. Jevgeny Kavluska. Oh, gosh, that's horribly butchered. I'm so sorry. But we'll have you in. Welcome to this, the squad. This desk requires additional security guards. Okay, so... Where are my security guards, please? Seven members of staff. We need. We've hired four. Jobs claimed. We have a short. Okay, it wants me to. Oh, it wants me to fill them. Fine, fine. We'll have you. Uh, we'll even have some rubbish ones. <laughs> right, are you happy now? Do we have enough security guards? No. Where are they? There we go. We got more. We've actually got. Oh, we've actually got too many security guards. Jeez, make up your mind, will you? Staff overview. Well, I know it's it's not been long, Tanya, but we're going to have to let you go. Sorry, Tanya. I'm How awful. Right, who are you? Who are all you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, you're a security guard. Welcome to the squad, mate. Welcome to the squad. So, right, 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 right. What we've got here? An employee? Can't reach. Who are you? Where are you trying to go? Here. But you can't get there because what? There's no security guards working there. And there's no security guards working there because... I... there. What does that mean? What does that mean? How can you not get to the job? <sighs> okay. So you are... I am... So, um, mm -hmm. I'm very confused. Let me go away and work this out. 
and I'll be right back. I got it. I cracked it. The wall was making it think that there was two separate security zones. Now look, it's all one. So that's good. That's looking really good. Yeah, it worked. It worked. <laughs> the floor is a bit of a mess. We're going to decorate this airport eventually, aren't we? It's a work in progress, but that's great. So we've got now our security guards working there. We also had to apparently hire another two security guards. Just, I don't know what they're doing. I presume they're just walking around. Look, here they are. We've got uh, Natalia and Mauro just on break at the moment. wonder where Moritz Bauer is. There he is, look. Oh, Moritz. It reminds me, we probably should do some research, shouldn't we? So, operations, R&D. Uh, we've officially started, got a commercial license, so that is good, I guess. What else should we, we can get night flights. Night flights would be pretty interesting. Uh, floor construction permits allows us to do floors, stairs, escalators, conveyor belts. That's useful. Remote stand service includes an airport. Shuttle bay. Ooh, nice. Uh, we don't want to go for medium aircraft just yet. Emergency response. Emergency response structures and vehicles. Security patrols. Bird strike prevention. Jet fuel, maverick fuel, medium fuel depots. I don't know what we want to research next. Let's get a new... Yeah, let's do this. We'll get a program group one. Means that we can expand uh, how many administrators we have, I guess. That's cool. So, you are saying you're not functional because this isn't built. I know. Don't worry. I, I know. I know the problem. You do not need to fret just yet. Right, we need to sort out this. Um, oh. Here's what we need to sort out. We need to build you there. We do have that fence there as well, which we don't really need anymore. So, I am going to get rid of you. Because eventually... Oh no, there's a cow! Cow alert! This, these, these little sacred cows. Once the, the fence is up, we'll, they'll, they'll be gone. They'll be gone for good. <laughs> but we've still got the planes coming in. Still got the planes coming in here. Uh, once this is built as well, we'll be able to draw our taxiway for planes to go in and out, I guess. I think, actually, I need to build more taxiing, don't I? Do I? Planes can't go one way. Yeah, no. Well, you think about it. A plane will go along this way, but then... It, 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 yeah. These are one way. Like, one plane goes on there, then you've got to wait. It makes... I suppose it makes sense for us to draw another along here like this look and then so we wouldn't have been able to fit more more bays along here this is probably not the best use of our of our of our time is it really of our of our space we probably could fit more airplanes down here but I think I've this is not the best use of resources is all I'm saying that more is power international Oh, what a what a silly, a silly boy, Moritz Bauer is. What are you? A safety device that redirects blasts from jet engines to avoid damage or injury. Okay, that's pretty cool. We could always get some small aviation stuff here. Getting some more planes that way. What do you think? It's difficult, isn't it? Like, you, we don't want to get clogged up with planes too much, but equally. We need to strike the balance between getting some good dollar dollars in. I think going that way is the way to be. Okay, we need a shortage. Why? How is there a shortage of security? We've got security. And now you're saying there isn't. I don't get it. Now there's a... Oh. Oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's fine. 
he says, panicking his head off. Right, we also need to build really quickly. Last thing we will do for this this episode, I think, is... We need to build some check-in stuff. One there. One there. One there. I don't know if building them halfway across the door is a good thing. Ah, oh, we'll do it. It's fine. Like that look. So we've got them going around there. We also could do with... Another service door. Oh, and we could do a window. We need doors. Oh my gosh, how are you going to get out to the planes? So, oh gosh, I'm the, I am the worst airport runner in the world. We're going large doors. Large, big, large, beautiful doors. I don't know what I just did. That. Oh, I, I oh, rotated the world. Sorry for motion sickness there, guys. Build. Build. They're great. They are wonderful. And then, what else do I need? I need a service road. I need a service road. So, service road as well. Uh, we've got you. You go up here. Can I build this along this side? Like so. Just so, like that. And then, got a service road that goes round. I could even build a... A little vehicle checkpoint. My bane of existence is here. Right, hang on. What way do you go? That way. Right? The structure is not valid. I beg to differ. It's not in a valid position. It really... Mate. Mm, mm, is it not, though? Or, or is it? Because if I do it there from a service road... To a public road. These are public roads, are they not? Oh, flipping hate these things. Basically, if I want to put a service road here. Oh, oh, oh. Right. <laughs> the fence is there. Sorry. You probably saw that, didn't you? And you were all shouting, Chris, you're an idiot. Yeah, you're right. And you would be you wouldn't be wrong. Um, I am definitely an idiot. Oh my gosh, what a fall. Should we put another service road here? Because we could open this space up. I think that's probably wise. Do we do it across from here? Make it symmetrical? No, that's a lot of road we would need to do. Dig up and create. Let's put it on this corner here. <laughs> what a fall. Oh man, it's just it's just a right it, it's it's so stupid. Oh they've nearly took that gate out though. Um so if I want a road Hello, road here. Oh you are joking me. You've gotta be joking me. He says. This video has gone on a lot longer than I intended. I intended this series. Oh the episodes are gonna be shorter in this series, he said, with enthusiasm. Well, I was, I was needlessly wrong about that, weren't I? We haven't got much more to do, I promise. We will decorate this airport, this foyer in the next one, in the next episode. But let's, let's just put some windows in for now. That's nice, isn't it? Windows. Windows. We'll put some more windows there. And then how far were you from the... Why? Why would I put a window there? Oh no, it's deleted the... Oh my god, this is... This is just stupid. Right, okay. So, we've got to get a large window. So... How far were you? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, we'll put it, put it there like that, I guess. <laughs> we'll go like that. Another gap of two. Gap of two. Gap of two. And then... Smaller windows. There, like that. 
in the in the waiting area after they've left. Do you think we should put some like I don't know some seats in this area here? Just for like people who are waiting at the edge of security. Oh, and something else. I don't know. What else can they have? I suppose this is a mini arrivals place, isn't it? So, do you know what? They can have a little vending No. No, they can't have a vending machine. They're not having a vending machine. They can shut up. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Ah. So, need to draw this taxiway. Going down here to like that. And down to the end like so. Connect you up. Connect you up. Connect you up. Connect you, please, up and connect you up, like so. And then we also will drag you along to here. Yeah, this makes some good sense. We'll drag it, drag it along further. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I was hoping that the service road would match up. Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay. What happens if I? Oh no, that worked. That worked. It just doesn't look uh, totally, totally cool, I guess. Oh, look at this. They're all parking up. That is cool. That's cool. So when we turn this on for, for, for now, our small, small planes can land here. But eventually, we will we will have the commercial planes here. I guess. What is it telling me to do here? So click on each boarding desk and connect it to the nearest stand. Oh, this is going to be it. So connect to a stand. You. Locked. The stand connection can't be changed while there's a stand active. Oh uh, yeah, of course that makes sense. So what do you do? Oh, connect airside shuttle bus. Oh! So, theoretically, we could connect these check-in desks, these boarding desks, to one out in the middle of a runway for some big planes. They could wait here, get a bus. Yeah? They get a bus. The bus takes them to an aeroplane. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Something to look at when we get a bigger um, bigger airport. So we've done that. We've connected it to the terminal. The terminal passive flow. Click on each stand to enable commercial flights. Do I dare? Do I dare do it? Do we do it now? Can we do it? Not here. Oh, on here. My bad. You. Switch between general aviation and commercial flights. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is so cool. This is so cool. Here we go then. Avia gen uh, so when these general aviation flights leave, look at this. This is like a like a biplane. No, it's not like a biplane at all. You're talking absolute nonsense. So when these guys go, eventually, why are you? Oh, you can't. Sorry, sorry. I will deal with you in a second. When these guys go, it means we'll get commercial planes there but we do need to sort out a commercial contract let's just connect these up first because they're looking mad at me like so um open your runway for commercial use so commercial flights you are welcome to join us so i've done that we've opened the so next the new staff room looks really nice it's union approved it's union approved that's why um, the new staff room looks really nice, but it seems empty. Let's hire some friendly face staff for your airport. Okay. So hire four passenger service and agents. Of course we can. Staff. Oh, that's my that's my boardroom. Oh, just Moritz Bauer on his own at the moment. Bless him. Uh, okay. So what did it want? It wants me to passenger service agents. So we have Pyong Ngoye, sorry for my awful pronunciation. Who else do we have? We must have some more applications than this. I don't want to get Jay Babich, because he's very expensive. Oh, we'll get him. 
Hi. Oh, I didn't know. I did. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you could read their CVs. You're 62 years old, and that's not a problem because we do not. Um, <laughs> we do not. Uh, what's the what is the word I'm looking for? We do not prejudice against age. Um, he has a PhD from Hampson's Community College. I wonder what your PhD is in. You worked for 16 years. Previously worked at uh, a company I worked for was DNP. Some nights I work at the shelter. Oh, you are so welcome to join us. We need four of you, though. Four of you, please. So, anyone else? Oh, God, some of them are really bad. Uh, hi, Sigrid. Uh, I have a master's degree from Hampstead Community. Good. Worked for 14 years for PAP. You enjoy dancing. You'd love to work for us. Well, you're not the best, but I'm willing to improve on you to, to make you a better a better employee and we'll go for oh this oh look at you miko kohonan uh you have a bachelor's degree from dump and hack high you've worked for 17 years previous company you worked for me was mclondles and in the free time i do what you can to help the homeless well you're awesome mate ramp agents okay ramp agents we're gonna go for stefan and Christian, and we need four of you. Uh, Faith, come on in, join the join the squad. And oh god, we, should we go for Joseph or Joseph's cheaper? We'll go for Joseph. Cool. Pause. Enable the ramp agent service. Yes, please. We'll go to operations. Enable ramp agents. I don't know what that does. So we've enabled ramp agents. The important passenger service agents handle information check-ins and boarding desks. Security officers work at the security points. And the ramp agents handle aircraft turnaround services and baggage. Janitors and service tech... Well, we need some... We need janitors and service technicians, surely. If we're going to do this properly, who's cleaning up? Oh, has no one applied to be a janitor? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh, no, this is who we've got. Sorry. Uh, janitors. We will go for... Uh, Saulius and Georgia for now. Well, let's get some service technicians as well. Teddy. Teddy and Agnes. You can come into our squad. Now you're ready to finally accept some commercial flights. We're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. <laughs> it's been such a long episode. So, we're now ready to get some flights. First off, we need to sign a master contract with an airline. Then the airline will offer us flights we can schedule. Cool. We're so close. So, let's go into contracts. Uh, offer contracts. Oh, look at all these good people. Right. Who, who, who can... Who would like to come to us? When it says... When it's got a star service, what does that mean? I don't know what it means. So, I don't know what the stars mean. Okay, let's... let's um, uh, Airlines. Because I, I do like the look of Goose. When they're one star, does that mean that they don't require as much? Oh, let's go one star. We're going to have Goose. Goose, welcome aboard. We'll keep you here for now, Goose. So we've signed a deal with Goose. We need to open our flight planner, which I cannot remember how to do. Flight planner, that'll do. Um, okay. Open the flight planner and click on the airline name on the left-hand side. See the flights they currently offer. Goose. Goose. When do you do it? Goose. A procedural director will enable you to unlock nightly flights. Keep an eye. Wait. Open the flight planner. See the flights are currently off. The schedule of the flight. Drag it into the flight planner. Sorry. Right. You. Go here. 
Goose. Okay. Oh! I like this. Well, well, how about, Goose, you have a... You have the half seven coming in. And then you've got one... The half one, for now. That's great, Goose. I think we should get more of you. I think we should get more people. Open the flight plan and click on the... Yeah, we've done that. I've done that, though, mate. I've done that. I think I've done that. Have we done that? Goose! <laughs> oh, man, it's all gone wrong, and this episode has completely gone overboard. I think... Goose... Oh. Click confirm. What an actual idiot. I am so thick. There we go. Two flights for the goose. And we can schedule our first flight. Now sit back and wait for the scheduled flight and the passengers to arrive and depart. You can view more... De oh, great. Should we wait for the goose to come in? I tell you what. This episode has gone long, so I will cut ahead and show you the goose flight coming in at what time? Half seven. Here it is, look. Is this it? Is this you? Goose! Goose wings! Let's follow you. The goose wings flight has come in from Belfast. Oh, it's looking lovely. Here he comes. He's got... Is that three passengers? Wait. For fox! There was a fox on the runway. Have we not built the... The, the gate, the fence, yeah. Very annoying. He parks up. Oh, this is great. We've got the flight person here. Ah, oh, this is a small commercial flight for the goose. Three people stepping off the plane. Love it. That's awesome. That's awesome. I tell you what we'll do. We'll get some more. Uh, contracts in in the next in the next episode but this has been it thank you once again for watching uh, i hope to see you all in the next one